Matt and I have been married for nine years. And we kind of really went back and forth in the earlier years of our marriage, you know, trying to find a church somewhere that we felt comfortable. Um, we lived in North Carolina for a long time, moving around with the military. But we never really found somewhere that was like really home. And um, we had, a, our journey has really been um, kind of a struggle. Our marriage has been a struggle. We've had a lot of, been dealt a lot of cards that a lot of people, in my mind at least, you know, it would have made a lot of marriages crumble. We tried for seven years of our marriage to get pregnant. And um, I have a pre-existing condition, Crohn's disease, and that in itself has just been, you know, kind of a struggle for me personally. And then, you know, something in our marriage that has just been something that we deal with, you know, every day. Um, and we went through a lot of stuff early in our marriage with that. And it turned out that I couldn't have, you know, children on my own. And then we started an in vitro process and that went on for five years. You know, and I got to the point where I was just questioning God about everything. I didn't know why he would put anyone through this, um, especially with having, you know, a chronic illness and then on top of that, just saying, no, you can't have a kid either. And, you know, I was just really mad at God for a long time. I just never had that closeness with God that I always thought, you know, it should, there, there should be more personal than this. It always just felt like it was a, a rote thing that was just going through the motions of, you know, you need to go to church and you need to do this and you need to do that. So then when we couldn't have kids and we had so much struggles with with having a baby, then we got pregnant on our fifth try with in vitro and it was just such a miracle in itself. And Matt had told me or told someone once that, you know, around the time that we started looking for a church and Alyssa was born and, you know, it was just a miracle. But he, he said, he told someone that I think Janessa just really wanted to find somewhere to celebrate, to just thank God, to just, you know, really be there to say, I get it now, like I understand. Um, because this child was just, I, I know for a fact that God put me through that journey to know and to value her and that it was supposed to be that child that was supposed to be in our lives because she's just more perfect than I could ever imagine and so different from what I would have ever imagined. Um, so, Alyssa was about four months old and we got a door hanger on our part in our apartment complex. And it was about Easter service at Parkside and on the back it had Kids Unleashed and I think it was the first Kids Unleashed that had ever happened at Parkside last spring. We went on Easter and it was just, it was more than I could ever imagine. And I know this is not supposed to be a plug for like, Parkside is amazing, but it was just so comfortable and Alyssa was so happy in the in the nursery and promised land. They were just so inviting. I felt comfortable leaving her there. Um, that's almost a year ago and that I would have never thought that we would find somewhere like this. Um, just because of my background with the church, it was always, you know, you go on Easter and you go on, on Christmas and then any other time it's kind of, you know, you go when you can, but we just love it. So I'm Janessa and that's my story.